Hi, my name is Lisa Elvin Steltari, and this is my channel, Have Roots, Will Travel. For those of you are, who are just joining us today, welcome aboard. Now, I am a genealogist and a passionate traveler, and my videos encompass a lot of different elements, but right now I'm focusing on a major project, which is to complete Les Filles du Roi and to do all of the biographies um, for each of these amazing women who truly are, for me, the founding mothers of North America. Um, and just to let you know, I do have a website. I'm on Twitter and Facebook. And if you like this kind of subject matter or are interested in some of the other videos I might be doing, please subscribe to the channel. Click on like and get the notifications bell and all of that good stuff. All of that is part of what helps me grow and learn what y'all like. Also, if there's a feature wall that you would like me to feature, please put her in the comments. Um, can't promise I'm going to get to her immediately, but she gets to be on the list. And um, she's an ever-growing one. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. Find out who is number 51 for this week. For those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know that I have a video called Lifi Joa, The Program 2.0. In it, I talk about the program that Jean Talon established in 1663 to really inhabit and, and you know, populate New France because it was not a happening thing right then. So this program and how the girls were recruited and, and all of the above are all kind of found in that program um, video. So have a look at that if that interests you. Um, and that, with that being said, let's get to find out who is number 51. Well, number 51 is actually the second part of our three-part trilogy featuring the Reclou sisters. Her name is Françoise Reclou. Let's find out about her. So she was, Françoise was born in 1653, making her probably the oldest of the three sisters. They were all born in Paris, France. Their parents were Squire Godbon, Reclou, and Marie Vianon. Um, these are just illustrations of Paris at that time, just to give you kind of that sense of where she's from. There's no particular church or anything that I've been able to uncover. If any of you have information about the Reclou sisters, would love to find out. Françoise traveled with her sisters Madeleine and Marie and her father. Each of them had 1,000 pounds for a dowry. They traveled on the Saint-Jean-Baptiste and they arrived in Quebec on August 15, 61. I just wanted to note that the Reclou sisters have been taken off the major uh, Fijoua list. Uh, kind of like planets that are deplanetized or whatever it's called, um, because of the fact that their father accompanied them. Uh, however, I am still doing them because I consider them amazing women and I can't imagine a Fijoa selection without them. So I, I, while I appreciate the, you know, the, the degree of accuracy that um, certain organizations want to, uh, you know, put to these Fijoa, I think these were amazing pioneer women, no matter, you know, if you call them Fijoa or not, they were there, they had an impact. So with that being said, let's get to see what and who Francoise gets to select as a groom. So Françoise would actually marry a fellow called Michel David, who was born in 1650 in Three Rivers. So he was a native Quebecer, New France. Um, very, very um, special in that sense. Um, his parents were Claude David and Suzanne Desnoyons. So Françoise was the last to marry. She married at Champlain. We do not have a marriage record, but her, we, knew, we know by the notary's contract that her sisters were present. Her father, however, had left for France, had returned to France at this point. So luckily for Françoise, she was able to settle in a place where her sister, Madeleine, already lived. She and uh, Michel uh, settled in the Seigneurie of Lento. Um, and let's just go through it in case you haven't seen um, the other video. Um, this was a seigneurie owned by Michel Godefroy de Lento. 
And he was actually the first white child to be born and baptized in Three Rivers. In 1688, 1668, he became Seigneur of which had been um, donated to him by his uncle, Michel Le Neuf du Hérisson. In the ensuing decade, he established, uh, he settled a dozen inhabitants on his seigneurie. Eventually, this would become Bécancourt. So, Michel David and um, Françoise uh, would settle here. Um, and in the 1681 census, I just want to show you, Michel David is 30, Françoise Raquelot is 28, and their children, Madeleine 7, Rene 5, Jean 3. They have one gun, one cow, and six out of us. They have a much smaller um, concession than her sister has with Nicolas Perrault. So, but it's probably about three to four acres of land. So, um, Francoise and uh, Michel would have only four children. Uh, Madeleine, their first child, marries Nicolas Gaillou and has two children, one of whom reached adulthood. René marries Marie Joseph Etier and had one child who reached adulthood. Jean Baptiste marries Marie Anne de Hay and has nine children, five of whom reached adulthood. Clemence marries uh, Pierre Beau and has two children, both of whom reach adulthood. So we can see that the descendancy is not as strong in this one. In fact, in the um, in the chart for 1729, when they kind of figured out how many descendants. There were only 21 descendants from this family. I'd be so fascinated to know if you are a direct descendant of this couple, please put that down in the comments below because I'd love to find out because that is a really, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, wow, just one in a million, you know what I mean? And there wasn't that many children. So um, interesting. Michel David would pass away at the young age of 42 on March 10th, 1692. Françoise would go on to live another 31 years and not remarrying. God, I love those independent women. Dying on November 25th, 1723 at the impressive age for a woman of that period of 70 years of age. It is said that she became a sage femme, a midwife in Becancourt. Her death record and burial record are in Point Claire, where her youngest daughter was living. So I'm supposing that this is why Francoise would have passed away and be buried in this location. And so that um, is in the Cimetière Jardin du Souvenir in Point Claire on the island of Montreal. And so we end another episode, number 51, and the second in our trilogy. Francoise um, did not produce a lot of children. However, the fact she was a midwife, I'd be fascinated to know. I haven't done this research, but, you know, if her name was in any of the, the um, you know, how many children she helped, bo uh, you know, be born, in other words. Um, I think that's a phenomenal achievement as well. So um, with that, I will bid you adieu and we will see you on episode number 52 um, where we are going to explore the last of the sisters, Marie Reclou. Until then, au revoir.